so I'm making this video at my work because they have tools that I don't in the shop here so these are all the targets that I'm going to try to attach to this 2x4 that goes across and here's the kit with the brackets and the hardware for making this so the first thing I'm going to do is measure half of these 8 foot 2x4s at 4 feet and then cut them in half and those will be the legs and I was going to use the table saw but there's an aluminum cutting blade on it so I just decided to use the chop saw because that would be quicker than changing the blade out. So I'm going to measure these and then cut them on the saw. That's the first step. Okay, so I've made my measurement at about four feet, so now I'm going to go ahead and make the cut. There's one down, there we go. Okay. start drilling the pilot hole and then the actual hole that the carriage bolts go into. So as you can see the drilling template they give you is made out of cardboard which I mean once you drill through it there'll be an opening so it should work perfectly fine but just in case I photocopied it just in case you know something happens to it the cardboard gets wet or something so we're gonna go ahead and drill our 3 16th pilot hole and then follow that up with the 25 64th and it says you just basically align the template on the top edge of the 2x4 alright so I'm kinda making this up as I go so that wasn't centering very well on this so I'm gonna use this punch to get it right in the middle there it should pop out, yep okay do that on the other side because it's hard to stay exactly where you want to be with paper. Oh, this thing's not sharp enough. There we go. Alright, so we're going to put that where we want it, which you know, it looks like the hole would have been okay. And we're just going to add a punch just to help out the hole. Let's grab a hammer. And just get that in the middle. And that'll the drill bit will follow through that little punch right there and I can get a little more accurate with it than what I was just about to do. Alright, so now, honestly we don't even need the template now that we have those. Okay, so let's drill our first pellet hole. And this one. Same on this guy. Okay. Get it right in the center. Make sure the template doesn't move. Alright, there's our first. And that's still centered. Yeah. And I'm sure they allow a little bit of play with the size hole they have you drill for the carriage bolts, so. I mean, if you're a little off, it's probably fine. There we go. Now let's drill those through. And once you have the pilot hole, you don't even need the alignment cardboard anymore because your hole's already there. Alright, now let's put the bigger bit in. check it because we got yep okay oh it was a 3 16 pilot hole which actually this drill isn't big enough for the drill bit required very important to do that 
Okay, there we go. Now let's try that again. Second one. And this one. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the other ones too. What was I thinking? Well, actually, since there are two different drills, I won't have to switch back and forth taking them out. But I already took it out of the one. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a burr on here, which is going to keep it from being nice and flush. So I'm going to take a file and just kind of smooth that out a little bit. There we go. Do that on both sides. Do the same thing with that one, except really to use a grinder. You could use sandpaper too if you don't have a file. But it's just easier to use files. So I'll just, just do them all real quick. And it's actually Friday night tonight. I came here a little bit later in the day so I wouldn't get bothered while I was making the video. Okay, two down. Yeah, you can really see that on this one. Alright, one more. I mean, for having to do it yourself, this is probably the simplest design you could have. All you gotta do is cut two two by fours in half and drill two, four, six, eight holes. And you could really skip the pilot hole if you wanted. The pilot holes are just drilled for a more accurate hole. Because when you're drilling a larger hole like that, it's harder to get it more accurate. But if you have a pilot hole, it follows it. So, hmm, I'm not sure whether that goes on the inside. I'm assuming it goes on the inside. Yeah, that would make sense to me. Okay, it goes in without the washer. To fit perfectly in the hole, so the washer must go on the other side. Okay. Yeah, otherwise it wouldn't be flush. So the washer goes here, like that. And then you put the nuts on. You can use a crescent wrench, a socket wrench if you have the right size. Anything will work. I'm just going to grab an adjustable crescent wrench because that'll be the easiest. I don't have to look through the drawers for. And there should be right now, right here. Okay. All right. Let's make sure you can still see what I'm doing. Okay. So now, if you push it against there, it should keep it from slipping out. So you're just gonna tighten it down. Once it gets difficult to tighten, that's probably as much as you need. You can always go back and tighten it later if you need to. Alright. Now, get some more carriage bolts. Huh, where did this small one go? There it is. Okay. Two more on this side. Let's get those in there. Grab another 2x4. Tell these carriage bolts aren't going all the way through yet, but we'll still get the nuts on and secure it, keep them from coming loose. Yeah, see. So it's kind of. Oh, that one's not square. So let's see if it's come back up. See that one's flush, but this one has turned to the side. So get 
that back out. So this hole must have been a little bit off because it's giving me a little bit of trouble to get out. So I'll just use this punch. Get that out. So you want to make sure you get the carriage bolt nice and flush through that switch before you. There you go. Now it dropped into place. Oh, and there goes the air compressor. I'm sure you guys can hear that. Washer on. Alright. Yeah, see, it's just as easy as that. It's really a very simple design. Easy to build. And yet it makes it very reliable target system. I've seen other target systems on Amazon for hundreds of dollars that were made out of steel legs, but they weren't bulletproof. So the second a bullet from, say, an AR-15 hit it, the thing would be toast, and there goes $100. And this was, what, a couple dollars under 40 bucks? And I mean, three 2x4s cost me $6, so it's nothing. And see, this is how it works. It goes like that, and you fold it up for transport. So one half's done. We'll set that aside. Over here. So I got it clamped to the table here. We got one gong here. We got a self-healing target. This is a piece of scrap steel from the shop. There's the 8-inch gong. The 22 spinners. And this is one of those jumping targets that I hit with my AR and it broke off. See, this is what was left of it. It broke on the hinge right there, so I put that on there. And then another self-healing target. And another four inch gong. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. I mean, that's quite a bit of targets for one thing. And you got the two sawhorses right there, basically. And then to transport them, you just undo this ring nut right here. Take the pin out. And then. They just fold up like that. See? For easy transport. So that way you're not carrying the big angle like that up to your shooting spot. Alright, so there it is. Finished and stable and standing. I figured out the trick to keeping it stable is to push these legs out like that so they're at an angle. And also, the grass is a lot better surface than the cement was at my work. Yeah, I got my 22 spinner up here, which this thing would never stay in any of the ground to the shooting spots it went, because it was so rocky, you couldn't dig it in hard enough, stake it in. And I got 4-inch gong, self-healing target. This is a part of a jumping target that broke. 8-inch gong. This is some scrap metal from my work. Another self-healing target, and another gong. And I basically just use L brackets, or L screws with threads, and I use a T bracket for this, and there's a carabiner on here, so you can put something else on there if you want. Same as here, and then two more L screws with threads, and then I just drilled into the top about the same diameter as these legs, and it just fits right in, and it's nice and stable. And then another 4 inch gong on the L screw. And that's about it. Yeah, I'm happy with my purchase. I think it's going to work great. And plan on taking it shooting tomorrow. So, yeah. Well, if you guys like the video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel.